Hey, Patriots! It's Matt from Prepare Patriots. <laughs> Let me go all gunny on him. Five, four, three. Hey, Patriots, it's Matt. Coming at you with a quick tack tip. So whether you realize it or not, every day when you put your holster and your gun on and when you take it off, it's the perfect opportunity uh, to inspect your gear. Sound discipline is super important. It shouldn't rattle like this holster, right? So when you take your holster out, put it up on your safe or in your safe, whatever you do with your holster, that's a perfect time to inspect uh, your gear. So these are the pull to dot loops as we recommend all the time. And this is a hot pistol, so <clears throat> this is a safe set for now so uh but really quickly uh what we got here are the pull to dot loops uh that are just kind of aged out so they're beyond their service life and you can notice uh, that they rattle and they make a bunch of noise so um again we want to be as stealthy as possible that's our edge over the bad guy when we're carrying every day is that we're not making an excessive noise so the holsters just like any other gear you would carry, car that you drive, they all have a service life. They need to be serviced. Um, you should regularly be uh, checking the snaps, you know, looking around the snaps, looking, making sure that the straps aren't cracked and things, uh, making sure that the screws haven't come loose and uh, just making sure that everything is tight and good to go. So here in just a couple of seconds, we're gonna show you how to uh, uh, swap these loops out, service the holster uh, and make it much more quiet again. And so hopefully it doesn't uh, rattle that out. Uh, that's no bueno. So I'm uh, going to take it over to Patrick. He's going to show you how to service the, the loops on the holster. And uh, until I see you next time, carry smart, carry safe, be prepared. Hey, Patriots. So Matt, just give you a good tack tip. And I've had to do this already several times on our holsters um, in the past. Whenever you are checking your gear, so this is actually a perfect example of a rental rig. Um, that we put out and let guys try out and stuff in our class. So just wanted to give you a heads up. This is a hot gun and because that's how we roll. Um, <clears throat> Matt has actually been carrying this one today to bring it up to do the video. So uh, I don't know if you saw the last videos, but Matt has some really nice Green Force rigs. This is not a Green Force holster. It has been kind of rigged up in the past um, just because we, you know, use different holsters. People bring crappy holsters to class and we show them how to upgrade just to make their holster a little bit better, even though it's not high quality, um, like a Green Force rig. It makes it a little bit more serviceable in class and they're a little bit safer. Um, but just look at this, this is actually a perfect example, guys, of what we're talking about when we ask you to, to maintain your gear and check your equipment. So Matt brought me this rig and he said, hey, it's, you know, I think the straps wore out where you check it out. You know, the pull of the dots seem to be a little bit, you know, a little bit louder than it should be. And then after inspecting it and looking at the, the holster, I noticed there's quite a few problems, right? So the, obviously the pull of the dots are just wore completely out. So when you strap these on, these are supposed to be really tough to get on and off, and these are really easy to get on and off now. There, there's, there's very little tension in these. Um, and if you can hear, they have a lot, a lot of rattling, and that's a, that's a sound discipline problem. You don't want to be in the middle of a night, you know, in, in the middle of the night clearing a room, and this bump against the wall and give you away. So we want to talk about some other things that I noticed on the holster. One is, I don't know if you can tell, but the retention screw that holds the codex together is, is missing. Um, so we're gonna try to fix that in the video as well and see if we can't put a new retention screw in there. And this is what we mean, guys. Like This stuff is on you all day, every day. Um, you're carrying this stuff and, and machinery fails. No matter how good the rifle, no matter how good the equipment, screws come loose, um, straps wear out, especially if you train and you wear your stuff all the time. You know, if you think about it, if you're even if you're just changing the holster daily, that's 365 applications a year except on leave here, right? So it's really important that you, you know, these things have a service life. We, we have a time frame that we can actually run these in and they're gonna go bad. So I wanna show you what new loops look like. Um, obviously these are brand new. You can tell just by looking at these how much wear is on these two holsters here. Now these are rental rigs, so they be, they get abused pretty pretty bad in class, uh, and sometimes run off you know crappy belts and just a lot of overuse on these. 
Uh, and this holster, like I said, not a high quality holster, but we're gonna try to, to fix it back up and make it a little bit better. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do, um, I've tried already and messed with this a little bit, and I know that that one, that the screws that we have are not gonna fit this piece. I'm gonna pop that out and see if I can again. And you can see there like the rust from where this has been wet and sweaty and just, just not, not good. So we're gonna put a new one in. This is a new um, screw that we can put in and a new, I think these are called um, Chicago screws, I think is what they're called, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a expert on screws here by any means. Um, but as you can see, you put a new screw in it and it's gonna fix that problem. Now, with this one being a rental rig, I'm more concerned with the screw falling out than I am the, the, the people in our class being concerned about retention. So all I'm gonna do is just put a dot of Loctite on that one. Typically, I don't know that you really have to do the retention screws. I know that Green Force actually does recommend it, uh, according to John. I think John told me one time that we should probably get the retention where we want it and lock those in too. So since this is a rental rig for class, I'm not gonna turn that retention up too much. I'm just gonna get it to where it holds, you know, pretty good retention, get a little click, good enough. Um, and I don't really care about that one being super adjustable because like I said, it's a rental. The people who are renting it generally don't even know what retention is or what they want out of retention. Um, so we just wanna make sure that that screw stays in and it actually stays where it's supposed to be and doesn't fall out again. Now, as for the straps, we're just gonna take these off. <clears throat> and I, I've, I've messed with these a couple times and I've done this a few times on my own personal rigs and I'm just gonna go ahead and recommend that when you do this, that you go ahead and change out the whole deal. Um, tr I know that it's tempting just to tr replace the strap, but this piece right here wears too. So you wanna make sure that you replace both sides of that. And if you're doing all that, you might as well, you might as well go ahead and replace this as well um, and put some new stuff in. So I'm just gonna move the old stuff to the side and we'll get some new screws on here and make this rig a little bit better than it was. So it's still not perfect. And then also on this, uh, let me step off screen real quick and I'm gonna get the, uh, the cutters to cut this real quick and I'll, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. So the other thing that I recommend, so I've done this enough to know that most of the time, if you're gonna be using <clears throat> a standard tactical belt, usually the, the middle screw is kind of where you're gonna wanna go to fit like a one, I think it's a one and a half inch for the instructor's type belts. Um, that you're going to get from like SOE or wilderness, uh, the wilderness belts, those kind of things. So unless you're going with an extreme 1.75 inch belt, which are which is kind of the rarity, most people don't like that. It's too thick. It doesn't fit through belt loops. Uh, it's not nearly as as comfortable to me in my in my opinion. So I, I tend to stick with a one and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim off this top edge. I don't like any extra. As you can tell, somebody already trimmed this one up too, probably done quickly in the field. Uh, we're gonna make that a little bit cleaner and neater because we're doing it here at the shop now. So what I'm gonna do is just cut off the extra that I don't want. And I'm gonna leave enough there that I don't, you know, sacrifice integrity of the actual strap. So just like that, it's good enough. Just enough that we, when we put it on, I don't like extra stuff sticking out. It's just something else to catch, <clears throat> to catch on the, uh, shirt and just cause you some issues. So we're gonna go ahead and put the new strap back on, just like that. And then we're gonna add a dot. You should always lock tight screws on any life-saving medical equipment, right? And that's what I consider a holster. That was probably a bit much though. It only takes a dot. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the top on here, just like so. And then we'll run the screw in. So I'm sure somewhere, someplace, there's a like specification on how tight these should be. There's probably an inch per foot pound torque, something, blah, 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 who cares? So what I do is I tighten them down <laughs> until they are tight. And if you get one spinning in the back, you can use a screw, but typically I feel like I can hold it most of the time with my hand enough to get it tight enough. And the Loctite is going to do the job uh, once you get it in there to hold that screw in anyway. So that would be your new strap. And then we're just going to test for function. Notice it's nice and tight, no wiggling, 
much more difficult to get on and off, but it's also much more um, much more retention on the strap, which is what we want. We don't want these popping loose when we don't when we you know need them the most. So that's going to be how we do that. Now I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. I won't bore you in the video for that, but we're just going to go ahead and change the other one out, and we'll do the same thing on that side. Um, but that's what you should be doing every night, guys. Pick up these things, check out how the uh, how the stuff looks. And when you put a new one on, by the way, just another little tip, it doesn't hurt to lay a book on them or something just to flatten them out because at first they're, they're kind of rigid and straight, right? So if you get them to where you want them and then you flatten them out, they conceal a little bit better. When they're brand new, they stick out quite a bit. Um, so just putting a book or something heavy on them, put your gun in them, whatever, and just lay them flat. Um, so you get that to lay flatter before you start to wear it. And then the other thing, if you're looking to buy these, go check out holstersmith.com. Good dude. Uh, you can buy, you know, we, we carry big packs of them because we're constantly changing them out for people in class and, and fixing our own equipment that gets, you know, when you train a lot, unfortunately, these do wear out, especially, you know, when you're, you're racking off of them and stuff. It tends to wear out the pull of the dot loops quite a bit. Um, so it doesn't hurt to pick up a whole bag of them if you got like lots of holsters. If you're one of these people that you, you know, you have one gun, one holster, you can buy these individually. I don't think they're super expensive. I want to say like five to 10 bucks, uh, in that range for one, for the set. Um, so you, you, they're not really expensive, but this is something that's a wear and tear item guys. It's like a new set of brake pads or a new set of tires on your truck. Like it just has to be done, um, to keep this stuff in working order and, and, things happen. This holster is proof of it. It's, you know, it's been through classroom settings, so it gets abused, you know, regularly, but it's just a good example of how like having, you know, you know, keeping those screws tight so you don't lose them is super important. And then making sure that you service your gear, because this is what we depend our life on people. Um, so we, we want it to be there and be working order every time we go to use it. So every time when you get home at night, do a little check on your gear, make sure it works, make sure it's tight enough. Uh, make sure the stuff is working like you want it to. Uh, and then also check your gun, right? Like, so this is also every night is a good time to look at your gun. This one would be a good example. Again, this is a hot gun. Uh, so we're going to treat it as such. But, you know, this this gun has a lot of dirt uh, and a lot of gunk on it, right? It's been, it's been carried and used a lot, but that's not a bad thing. We don't really care about that as long as it's functioning uh, and you can see your sights and it's good enough. Uh, and then we're just going to put it back in and check. Tension's good enough. I'll check. I'll go ahead and change that out off video. But until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if, if you'd like to see more stuff like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the like button and hit the little notification bell on YouTube and you'll be able to see more videos like this as they come out. We post something generally about every week um, on different topics that we see all the time in classes and such. Uh, but we hope you enjoy it and check us out on the Facebook and Instagram at Prepare Patriot NC. And until next time, carry smart, carry safe, and be prepared. mess that up every day when you're putting your gear on and you're taking off is a perfect opportunity to inspect your gear sound discipline is super super important i want you to listen to a uh, a holster that we use in class a lot and and see if it damn it was going so good oh, so close. it was going so good